day guys Austin here and in this one today we're taking a look at House of the Dead 3 playing from the PC although we are emulating the PS3 version so the PlayStation version of House of the Dead 3 we're playing it on the PC using the RPC S3 emulator and it's been so far so good with this test of recent games let's face it we've been doing pretty damn good Hopefully, I've been told that this one is working to its full potential. Now, I just launched it up in OpenGL mode, and I was getting probably half the frame rate I should have been experiencing. I've switched it to Vulcan API, and now we look to be good. So, I'm getting pretty much a 60 frames per second. I can't use fraps in this one, so you haven't got my normal frames counter. But in the top left-hand corner, I've left this boarded so you can see the frame rate as it actually happens. How exciting is this? Anyway, enough of my waffles. Let's actually get into game and see how this is performing. And then we'll talk more about the emulator and the setup itself. So, straight away, I'm seeing it drop to 23. I think at this point it should be running at 30. And actually, in the game, it should be running at 60. It's one of those that flits in between. But, we'll get in there. Let's get in the actual game. So, menu, we're hitting a solid 60 for the system menu. Let's go into free play. Uh, yep, sounds good. So, yeah, I've been testing this with a few games so far, and it's been good. Uh, I've experienced some good frame rates with some good solid games. I would still say that this emulator is very much work in progress and it's very much hit and miss. Some games work exceedingly well, as Mr. Kipling would say, but some of the games are still troublesome. Whoa, this looks good, doesn't it? 60 frames per second, top left. We are getting dips, but in terms of the speed of the game, you wouldn't really notice that, would you? Oh, yes, yes, this is good, isn't it? So like I said, I'm running this in windowed mode, so you can see the frames per second. If I had this full screen and I couldn't see that I'm seeing dips, I probably wouldn't notice the, uh, the frame rate so no far. We're running out of time. Sound, music, sound effects, everything seems to be top draw in this. Um, from playing this on the PS3 version, I, I think those black bars actually aren't supposed to be there. I'll confirm that in the description down below. Um, it's been a while since I've actually booted this on my PS3, so I couldn't really put that in there. I've also got this on the PC. It was also released on the Wii. I never got it for the 360, so I couldn't comment on that one. And, of course, it was released on the Sega... Now, excuse my pronunciation, the Sega Chihiro, it's the arcade build that um, was awesome. However, nobody's really been able to emulate that kind of gameplay um, on PCs. I think someone did get it booted some time ago, but they were using a modded Xbox. Or am I thinking of the wrong emulator here? I don't know. I'm thinking off the cuff here. I just know it's a very troublesome game. Or system, should I say. So I'm seeing some huge frame drops now. 30 frames per second. I think this is because of the water effects that's going on in the game. Yeah, now I'm seeing some big lag going on. Still playable, of course. Graphically, the only bug I've seen is those black bars. Although it is <laughs> helping me <laughs> to actually get good at this game. Because it's slowing me down so good. Headshot! Headshot! Get down. Awesome game this, by the way. Sega really do know how to make arcade games. I think they're up there with the Capcom stuff. Nintendo kind of nail it with the home family type games. Uh, Sega and Capcom really nail it when it comes to the arcade type games. Of course, Sega used to be good at everything, me being the fanboy and all. But, let's face it, since the Dreamcast went underwater, they've... Well, uh, it's a different Sega from the one I remember. But anyway, nothing to do with this. Other than that, this game is made by Sega. <laughs> okay, so we seem to have our frames per second back to the way they should be. I think it was that just level where the water was. 
Dear Daniel, I'll never give up. No Cutscenes seem to be fine. I don't really want to. Not that it's going to be much of a spoiler, let's face it. But I'm not really here to see how it performs in the actual cutscenes. Everything seems to be good. It just seems like that one little bit of the level where we went into that pump house. Whoa, again, big drops. I think this is the dust on the floor, maybe? It's not liking that at all, is it? So there we go. As we've lost the dust from the screen, outside we're running full speed again. So there's certain graphical things going on in the game which this emulator is not liking. It's just too much. Let's go. This game is pure cheese, but I love it. Whoa. Huge drops again. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Um... We'll go for the parking, shall we? We'll go for a detour. It's been ages since I've played this. <laughs> yeah, that's how you open a gate. So yeah, this is really starting to lag now. Kapow. Boom. See, this reminds me of... I loved Resident Evil 1 when you used the cheats and you had the shotgun all the way through. That was when you had the most fun. I mean, I know that Resident Evil games and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the tension comes from your limited ammo. But when you've completed it and you use your cheats, you can just blitz through the game and have fun with shotguns. I think a lot of that fun's lost in a lot of recent games. Whoa! Good down! It reminds me of, is it Killing Floor? The ones that explode the goo all over you? That's a good game as well, online multiplayer. They did the second one, but I never really got into that. It's one of those games where you need good set of mates to be online, all with the same kind of stuff going on. It's just not the same when you play it with strangers. So, I think we know what this one's like, to be honest. We'll see if we can make it to the end of the level. Outside's just bringing it to its knees, though, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, how dare you touch me with your big belly? Whoa. Okay, then, so I think we know how this plays now, to be honest. Oh, I was hoping I'd make it to the end of the level. So as always, put in the comments down below if you think that I should be covering some other games, some other emulators, or if you've got any ideas for videos that are on their way. I have got my best emulators of 2017 to come. I've also decided to make the best fake emulators of 2017, and also one that's going to be looking into the future to the type of emulators which are kind of on the horizon but not quite there yet. So, as always, please like, please subscribe, please do all the things in the magical world where you can play awesome games from your past onto the PC. Epic. But most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Laters!